Morning, Wayne. Morning, Dave. Nice to see you, buddy. And you. Yeah. And hey, what a pleasant stay last night, mate. Thank you so much. Yeah, them, them rooms are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I'm here with, with Wayne, the general manager of Kentisbury Grange, and uh, what a fantastic place to stay. Very welcoming to, to the shooting fraternity. Uh, there's a lot of guns stopping here uh, uh, today and tonight as well, uh, shooting the local shoots. Now, I like to come to North Devon. A lot of the small shoots, a lot of commercial shoots. Yeah. But uh, in your opinion, Wayne, does, does the hotel business rely on shooting in, in some, in some no, big North, way? North Devon in the winter does. It's yeah. Shooting is you know, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. You know, yeah. From here, within 35 minutes, you're probably at 15, 20 shoots. Yeah. Ranging from Castle yeah. Hill at the top right yeah. down to Benton, where you're going today. Yeah, yeah little, just more yeah. or less a little private shoot, yeah, a little, little syndicate shoot. shoot. Yeah. Yeah. 10, 12 days yeah. this year, but trying to grow. Yeah. Um, but no, we, for us, it's the shooting in the winter, it's key. Yeah. So the, the Grange is part and parcel of the, of the surrounding countryside and it's sporting pastimes, really. Exactly, yeah. yeah. The Grange was yeah. built 100 years ago yeah. in the middle of North Devon yeah. to support the local community. Yeah. And shooting is part of that in the winter. It's just a yeah. way of life. Yeah. And, and going back to your pride and joy. My pride and joy. Yeah. So should, you know, the shoots turn up, if they need it, we can put the guns in the back, we can drive the guns to the yeah. shoot. Brilliant. Um, yeah. And also, if the weather's inclement, like um, it is today, a little bit yeah, like <laughs> it is today. But you know, come January when the yeah. snow sets, we can still get people in. We can still get them out. Brilliant, brilliant. One thing I'd like to say, uh, Wayne, it's been a fantastic stay. Thank you so much. And, and I can only encourage people if they if they if they are in the area, look up at the Kentish because it's one of the best little hotels I've stayed in down here. And I mean that sincerely. Thank I really, so, really so enjoyed this day, and, and thanks very much for your company. Right, well, you, Dave. brilliant, absolute thank pleasure. We are in Devon again. I'm getting dragged down here more and more lately, but I don't mind because it's always worth a long journey. I'm here today on a small 100, 125 bird day, run by some really enthusiastic lads who have some very good ground to play with. Although only a small syndicate shoot at the moment. This hopefully will change as the organisers wish to open the shooting possibilities up even further. I must admit this little shoot called the Benton has some real potential. Hey, what, George? You got some fantastic uh, land here for, for showing good birds. Unreal. Well, you know, I, I mean, we've, we've come, we'll we've come on a day. We, we've come <laughs> on a day, really. But the, the weather is absolutely it's terrible for showing yeah, good birds. I really, mean, we'll we'll manage, I suspect. We'll yeah, manage we'll through, we'll make a deal of it. The very ancient woodlands as well that's on these bankings, aren't they? Yeah, hundreds of years old. Yeah. Hundreds. And how long have your family been here then? Uh, my granddad moved here. Um, well, he, 50 years, I should think. Yeah. He was late 20s, yeah, so 50 yeah. years this, we would have been here. Yeah. The farming has got difficult over the yeah, last few years. Yeah. Um, so we have pushed more towards the shooting. Yeah, um, just to help the income just, out. Yeah. Just to help, it, it does yeah. balance it a little bit. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Helps a lot of farmers survive down these areas yeah, as well, because I mean, they're very remote, I mean, aren't look they? at the people that are here today. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the pickers up. Yeah. Um, I mean, most of the guns here too. Yeah. Um, yeah. All the beaters, it's all, a lot of them are farming background. Yeah. Um, so without it, this time of year, yeah. there isn't much else around here, really. No, nothing. You're going to go to a bit more commercial, aren't you, next yeah, year? Yeah, I mean, we've this will be our third year now, yeah. what we call properly for us. Yeah. I mean, we've gone from just a rough shoot on a Saturday afternoon yeah. to where we are now, shooting 100 bird days regularly. Yeah, yeah. Um, the last 12 months, we've had a lot more interest, which is right. good. It's yeah. nice. It's all yeah. getting out there a little bit now. So, yeah, we are going to try and push it. Yeah, brilliant. See what we can do yeah. with it, really. Ha, ha, ha.
Welcome to the pleasure zone. I've just had about enough. Can't find me here much. I've never known whether I like it in my life. And that's swearing, I've had enough already. I know it's a kids program as well, but it's adults only this one. F in L. What a astered day. It's a twat of a day, but I still like being here. <laughs> In a sadistic kind of way, I'm enjoying it. Anyway, forget about that, Johnny. We're on the, we're on the second drive in a howling gale. Worst weather I've ever shot in my life, apart from Whitfield, that is. But I've no doubt you'll, you'll love to see the film because you'll like to see my ass get kicked in uh, weather like this. It's absolutely blowing a holy. Down in North Devon, and uh, this is an absolute stonking little shoot. You know, the... the uh, the, th the places these birds are coming off is unreal. These pheasants, the first drive, bloody hell the pheasants were, uh, although uh, battered by the wind, you could see the potential of this place, it's unreal. Anyway, let's see what the second drive brings. Got a nice passage out at first part at flush, and then yes, I think Devon birds they take some beating. They do. You know, North Yorkshire, it's a bit like North Yorkshire in, in some places, but I do really enjoy it. Yeah, you've still got a fair nice few birds left anyway, so that's the main thing. And we imagine this, imagine this place we on 200 250 bird days, be, that is be really proper, proper. proper. This is the third drive after the horrendous two drives with the weather. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the birds. Uh, on the first drive, I was a bit out of it. The birds, because the wind was so strong, it was hurricane force. <clears throat> the birds, of course, were ducking down before they got to me. Uh, shot a couple, that's all, for maybe seven or eight shots that I had. And uh, well, there were plenty of birds in the drive. They just, I knew they struggled to get them uh, over the guns. They just got battered with the wind. Second drive, <clears throat> a lot of birds in the drive. And uh, we, I think they, they probably get, are getting a bit scatty now. So we've got a quick flush over us straight away, uh, which you, you only get two shots at, uh, in a flush anyway. Managed to get a couple and a nice partridge. But it's uh, great to come here and shoot this, uh, these, these Devon shoots. And you see these uh, like little nooks and crannies of fantastic places to show good birds off. You know, it's... Uh, it's so different from uh, from other places that I shoot, such as Scotland and Wales, with the you know the vast landscapes. But these are really tight coombs, as I call them, not valleys. I love it. I love it down here.
a little bit of shooting there. Get one or two old yards, yeah, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Saw a couple coming down. Yeah, I got one or two, mate. Yeah, there's some old, there's some nice in the long term. Yeah, it's something for everybody, uh, really. What drives this then, George? We haven't actually named this one, to be honest. Not yet. Oh, um, can you name it after me now? Yeah, <laughs> you carry Can you drive? <laughs> <laughs> Plenty there for everybody, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice to have a couple of drives like that, though. You don't want them all mega high. The trouble is. Uh, you've got you to just... go get a mixed team, two or three that can shoot and some of them can't, you yeah, see. So they want yeah. just an average day, don't they? Everybody comes off smiling. Uh, that's there's, the beauty about there's... it, George. Right, let's have a steady walk on back. One. On to the next one. <clears throat> On the way to the last drive, two bloody wheels fell off the gun bus. One went sailing down the valley, another just missing was trailing behind. The tractor dragged them half a mile before he realised he'd got a bit of a drag on. Well, this is what makes days like this so exciting. And once to savour, besides creating great memories in the field, it's great company, good crack, and heaps of laughter all round. After an epic ride over Hill and Dale, or Coombs as they call them, we finally got to the last drive. And uh, as you can see, the wind's got up again, it's quite windy again. And there's been some tremendous birds so far. Absolutely uh, stunning topography. But it's a shame when you've got the likes of the Antis and the Packamites or think they know better than anybody else and when it's all gone and they've got nothing to eat you know because they've just absolutely destroyed the uh, the culture in these in the countryside but they'll also destroy the uh, the actual the growth of farming and the farming industry itself i can see it all shutting down because we we just anti everything now. Well, what a day. As you can see, I'm plastered in shit. But I've enjoyed every day, every minute of it really. It's been uh, one of those days where it's a proper back to the old school shooting. Uh, it's only 80 to 100 bird day. You've got to work for every single one of them, especially in this bloody weather. As I said, we've had Hurricane Bastard Charlie on us all day and whatever they call it, and a lot of rain as well. But we've only had one dry, uh, well, that was actually dry, the last one we did, but uh, the first two dries we got actually, uh, absolutely soaked. But that's what shooting's all about, you know. And I, I, I can honestly say, I've enjoyed it. So, can't wait to get back out. Right. Now then, before we go, girls, what's your name? Missy, yes. Missy? Yeah. And what's your name? Mia. Mia. How many times have you, have you been out then? Um, I've been, how, probably since the start of this season, I think. Right. Is it your first season in the countryside, beating uh, then? Yeah, first Is it? season. And, and do you enjoy it? Yeah, a lot, yeah. Right. 
And all, all got you involved in this then? Uh, my dad. My cousin. Ah, it was brilliant. my dad as well yeah. though. But, and yeah. your dad, are, uh, did yeah, he pick up? Yeah, my dad, Darren, the one that saw that the tyre had fell off. Oh, the right. Yeah, right, yeah. And, and how long have you been coming out then? Uh, since uh, the start of this season that we've been yeah. doing that. And do you enjoy it as well then? Yeah. Yeah. You love going down and dirty then, eh? Yeah. Hey? You look at stay to you. <laughs> I've been a bit like that today. Anyway, you've done a brilliant job, girls. Thank and you. hey, hey, thanks for keep turning out. Keep it up. Thank Lovely. You. Thank you. It's a beauty about it on this show here. Yeah, it's you know, it's always between 80, 100 bird days, and everybody takes a brace home. Yeah. Well, you, you were t how many brace are you taking? I've got three actually. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah that's it. Because you've got a couple of uh, de nice ladies that t they want to, that's they want right. to actually eat some. Which yes, is, which in is, the village. Which yeah. is great. Yeah, yeah it is. It's lovely. Yeah. It's so lovely. everything, uh, the smaller the shoot is, everything gets utilised anyway, doesn't yeah. it? You know, it's usually uh, the yeah. beaters, the pickers up and the gun, they all take something home. So, which yeah. is great. It's that's the, right. old, the old fashioned way, really. Yeah, yeah, that's what we try to do, to be honest, yeah. you know, make sure Brilliant. that it's all done yeah. properly. Of course, it's got no food miles, has it? It's fantastic, no, no. isn't it, really? It's, it's the best you can have. Well done, Andy. I never get stressed. Yeah, well, hey, somebody, somebody <laughs> tell me that he, used to, that he used to work for a famous uh, Ibert shoot. I did. Cas was it Castle Hill? Castle Hill, yeah, back in the 70s, yeah. that was. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. Well, it certainly rubbed off here, mate, because you've shown some. I don't know, we've had, I mean, I wouldn't like to have gone out today with the weather that you've had against you and shown the, shown the birds like you have shown today. You've done a fantastic job, mate. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. And I think uh, for the future, if you, you're obviously going to, go going to do a bit commercial, aren't you? Are you going to do bigger days? We or? intend to. We'd like you to, intend yeah. to, yeah. 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 Well, anybody that wants to come down here, to, is, what, what's the full name of the show? Benton, Benton shoot. shoot. The, the Benton, Benton shoot. shoot. Anybody ever wants to come down here, believe me, they'll have a fantastic day. Fantastic people to come and shoot with as well. Well done. Brilliant. Well done, Dave, Andy. Thank you you've very, done, very much for your penance. You've done a fantastic job. Thank the you. condition we've had, mate, that's brilliant what you've done today. Brilliant.